I am indeed, and uh, we're talking about the, well, the final month of the season and uh, how this season has gone in your eyes. And uh, let's start with some of the young pitchers getting a chance to see Jake again today, which is good to see. We heard the news about Vince Velasquez last night. So, you know, you've gotten a chance to see a lot of these guys, some ups and some downs with the rotation. So where do you think you, uh, you stand right now with those guys? Yeah, I think all things considered, we have to look at this at a, as a positive season in terms of our young starting pitching. You know, we enter a season like we did with, with as many young players, not only in the big leagues, but in AAA as we had. And we know inevitably there's going to be ups and downs. And we, and we experienced all those things. But, you know, to start, starting with Vince, the fact that, you know, for the first time in his career, he entered the spring training as a starting pitcher. He's ending his season as a starting pick, uh, pitcher. And absent a, a short uh, blip on the DL in the middle of the season, he was pretty effective all year long. He started strong, he ended strong. That's really positive. Uh, it's good to see Jake tonight. You know, he's, he's, he's throwing strikes. He looks like he's pitching a little more aggressively out there. We're starting to see him throw the ball better. But um, Ike's been Ike, uh, you know, really from, from the beginning to the end. He's been Mr. Reliable. He's been great. And obviously, Hellickson as well. It's never going to be perfect. You know, we, we, uh, we, we, had to, uh, we lost um, Eflin and, and Nola at, uh, about a month ago. And, you know, we're, we're hopeful for their statuses for next year. But, you know, all things considered, uh, I think the starting pitching's done a nice job this year. You know, there was a real mission this year for this franchise to kind of step back and see what you had. Evaluation. We heard that word a lot in spring training. With the everyday players, we've got, you've gotten a chance to, to see these guys almost on a daily basis. Are you happy with the, the looks that you've gotten with some of these young guys? Yeah. I, you know, I mean, the, coming out of spring training, the one we were a little disappointed with was, was, was Altier, only because he was hurt. And we didn't have the chance to, to watch him for the first four months of the year. But, you know, he did a nice job with his rehab, and we've been able to now watch him for a month, and we'll be able to see him for another month, hopefully, before the end of the year. But, um, you know, again, I, I talk a lot about age. And, you know, age is just a number. And, I, you know, in a vacuum, it really doesn't mean much. But, you know, when I look at a guy like Michael Franco, who, for you know this is an age 23 season it's his part it's his third you know at least the, he's been in the big leagues for at least parts of three seasons here and what he's doing the power he's showing uh it's not mr consistent every day but boy oh boy there's a lot to like there and i think that's positive for odubel herrera to to have followed up what was a really impressive rookie season as a rule five player uh, and show what he's shown this year and he's, he's been pretty darn good again that's all really positive tommy joseph to to come out of seemingly out of nowhere and then do what he's done it's been really positive and and maybe as much as anything what cameron ruff has turned into this year not only on the field in the batter's box but in the clubhouse and as a leader and just his on-field presence i mean there's there's a lot going on down there and it's, it's most of it's good Darren Ruff stepping to the plate right now. He's another guy that uh, is getting a look here in the month of September and also help the, the teams down in the minor leagues, the Lehigh Valley and uh, Reading. These teams uh, are, are you know, full of talent in the postseason right now. I know that's a very big source of pride for the organization at this point. It is indeed. And Murph, I was, you know, two nights, Friday night I was in Lakewood and I watched them clinch over there, which was awesome. Uh, and then last night I drove up to Trenton and saw Redding clinch. I saw Cousins hit his record-breaking homer. And uh, there's just so much energy and positivity among these kids. And there's good players. I mean, that we're going to have four teams in the playoffs, uh, which, is, which is really good. Uh, the, the fifth team, Clearwater, uh, in the Florida State League, has the best overall record in the Florida State League. And they're not going to make it just by virtue of the halves and the way they do things. But uh, I think we have the second best winning percentage in the minor leagues among the 30 teams. It's all really very good. We know there's players coming. And as I've said all along, we just can't rush the development. When they're ready, they'll be here. And until then, they'll continue to develop. So the message to the fans as we head into the final weeks and then into the offseason is what in your mind? Uh, you know, I've been, again, I think the fans are smart. The fans see like we do that there have been a lot of positive things on this field uh, this year. And they're also, we've also had some, some downs and some, and some struggles. And uh, it's not, it's not going to happen overnight, but I think we've come a long way in a year's time. If you, if you had told me, you know, last October when I got the job that this September, this is where the franchise would be, I would have signed up for that. Awesome. Well, congratulations on uh, your first season coming to an end here in Philadelphia. We appreciate your time as always, Matt.